Hi everyone, today we are going to see how we can use the Data Visa Access Proxy to extend Microsoft Entra MFA for any legacy applications. Now let's begin. First of all, let's take a look at how it looks to end users after integrating with Data Visa. When the user visits the application, here it is Jenkins.DataWisa.net. If the user is not pre-authenticated by Data Visa Access Proxy, it will redirect to the Microsoft Entra ID login page. Here Microsoft Entra ID prompts the user to enter their ID credentials, and finish the MFA. Once after successful authentication, the user will be continued to the application. As you can see, Data Visa Access Proxy simplifies the process of enabling Microsoft Entra MFA for applications. The migration to Microsoft Entra ID MFA can be achieved easily, securely, and efficiently. In this part, we will see how it looks to end users when they are using the Microsoft My Apps portal. Users can click the application icon, then it will redirect the user to the target application because this user has been authenticated by My Apps portal, so the user no longer needs to enter their credentials for a second time. In this part, we are going to see how easily it can finish the all configuration in a few minutes. In the beginning, I will create a new deployment called Data Visa MFA Demo and create a new application called Jenkins. Couple of things we should point out here, the public domain is the entry point user will need to type into the browser, and the listen port number is the port our access proxy will listen on. And the upstream address is the internal address of the protected application. This step is to configure a new Microsoft Entra ID IDP, I will name it Entra MFA for Jenkins. Choose the protocol OIDC and select the identity provider as Microsoft Entra ID. Because we are using the one-click generator to do the configuration, Data Visa Management Console will handle the rest for us. To start Data Visa Access Proxy, just copy the two generated command lines and switch to your server to run them. The first is to download Data Visa software image, and the second is to run Data Visa Proxy. After running two simple command lines, you will find that the Data Visa Access Proxy is already up and running. So far, we have finished the configuration part. Thank you for watching, and if you are interested in it or have any questions, please feel free to contact us.